If you are studying in your first year and your annual household income is less than rupees 15 lakhs, then I have a great news for you. You stand a great chance. You have a great opportunity to get a scholarship up to 2 lakh rupees along with many other perks. So I'll be covering everything. I'll be explaining everything in detail from scratch in the video moving forward. Welcome back guys. You are watching Brothers Together. So if you are new to our channel, if you haven't subscribed yet, so immediately click on the subscribe button so that you will never miss out any informative video like this in the coming future. In the coming days, I am planning of uploading many videos regarding freelancing, regarding placements, regarding scholarships and many more. So to never miss out on that, click on the notifications button too so that you will be getting notified once I upload any new kind of new video. So let's move on with the video guys. This is the official website of Freelance Foundation who is providing merit come means scholarship for undergraduate students. So this is the official website which whose link has been provided in the description already. So yeah guys. Here it is clearly mentioned that students with a threshold, uh, students with a household income of under 15 lakh who are enrolled in first year of their undergraduate studies pursuing any subject stream can apply. This program will also aim to encourage applications by girls and specially able students. Yes guys, this must be noted that girls and specially able students will be uh, preferred. So if you are, if you know any girls, if you know any specially able students who are in their first year of any kind of undergraduate course, then immediately share this video to them so that will be a greater benefit for them too. According to their uh, website, they state that 5,000 students will be shortlisted from the entire country and then they'll be uh, receiving a scholarship of up to 2 lakhs over the duration of their degree program. In addition to the scholarship money, so in addition to the financial support they provide, the Reliance Foundation will provide scholars an opportunity to be a part of the alumni network. So being a part of that alumni network will have many perks which will definitely help you in your career and then create long-term impact on their lives and career trajectories too. So this was the brief introduction regarding the scholarship and then let's look on to the scholarship features too. The, the scholarship aims to support meritorious students from all corners of the country and then for first year students studying any stream of their choice then uh, awarded on a merit come means basis to meritorious students and then up to 5000 undergraduate scholars will be selected. So this was one thing which I covered earlier. So from the entire nation they will be shortlisting from all the applications we uh, provide they will be shortlisting 5000 students based on merit and then they will be provided uh, up to scholarship up to 2 lakh along with many other perks. So the total amount of scholarship available over the, over the duration of the degree program will be up to 2 lakhs which I stated earlier itself and then scholarship will go beyond financial support with students automatically gaining networking opportunities through a strong alumni network. So this is not only limited to the financial support they provide but the other perks which you get <coughs> by being a part of that strong alumni network you will gain a huge network wherein uh, you can that will help a lot in your career development. Yes, guys, next is the scholarship values which they have provided so here uh, stating excellence, leadership potential, integrity, community commitment, growth mindset, courage. So while you are applying, once go through everything. So we will be on the safer side. Now is the important thing. So how is the application done and how is the selection process done? First thing is that till 14th February, uh, applications are invited. So 14th February 2023 will be the last day. What I suggest to you is that immediately once you complete watching this video, just go to the website and just complete the application form. So here they have said that the students will start the application process by clicking on the link given below. So the application components will include personal and contact information and then comes the academic info wherein you will be asked regarding your class 12th percentage and regarding your class 10th, regarding your academic achievements and all. And then comes achievements and awards. So this plays a major role. So what I would like to suggest to you is you just uh, upload all the achievements you have. So that will be of great use for you when they are shortlisting 5000 students from uh, lakhs of applications which may come for them. So yeah guys you will just upload all your achievements and all your awards and then the supporting documents for all the achievements which you claim for all the academic info which you claim suppose you claim that you have scored this much percentage in your class 12 so to prove that for them so just to, as a supporting document you should have to you may have to upload your class 12th uh, mark sheet. So this was just an example for all the uh, info which you have provided regarding you for them. So you should be able to provide sort of supporting documents which are legit and which uh, state that you have completed, you have uh, participated in the same. So I hope you understood regarding the application form. So there will be four components and then you should uh, you should be filling it one by one. So you'll have a great experience filling applications. Moving forward then once you are done with your application form so you'll be able to review it once and then once you have confirmed your application you will have an aptitude test. So all applicants to answer the online aptitude test. So the test duration will be 60 minutes and will contain 60 multiple choice questions. So this will include uh, your verbal ability. So this will uh, be testing your verbal ability, analytical ability and then logical ability along with some new 
numerical ability so some numerical problems will also be there that will be a uh, basic level then comes the initial selection so the first level selection applications will be evaluated using a combination of their test score academic and personal information the criteria of the first level for the first level of selection will be uh, the test score the aptitude test score which you give and then your academic records which you uh, provide to them and then your personal information it may be regarding your annual household income it may be regarding your parents income and all so based on that the first level selection will be done so these first level selected students will be further shortlisted so all candidates will be evaluated on the basis of merit come means and 5000 scholars will be announced so the, once you are selected into your first level then uh, again there will be screening and 5000 scholars will be announced who will be able to who will be getting up to 2 lakh rupees scholarship along with many other perks so this is the entire flow chart guys first you fill your application form and then you give your aptitude test and then uh, they will release a list of initially selected students whose selection is not confirmed and then finally they will announce 5000 scholars who will be able to get up to 2 lakh rupees scholarship and then along with many other perks. So the selection of scholars will be announced in March 2023. So by the end of March you will be getting to know whether you have been shortlisted or not. So since they are providing a huge amount of money for financial support along with many other perks so this is definitely worth applying guys so i would suggest all of you to apply I'd like to request you to share this video to as many friends as you can so that even they'll be benefited with the same so this was it guys so finally they have they have provided the eligibility criteria students who have passed standard 12th with minimum 60 percent marks and then enrolled in first year full-time ug degree in any stream so it can be any stream it can be engineering it can be medical can be pure science so it can be literally anything guys so if you are studying in your first year or in any undergraduate course with minimum 60 percent marks in your class 12th then you are all set so then you are good to go you should just be applying this so this is very much worth applying uh, you should be a resident indian citizen you should pass class 12th with uh, more than 60 percent that i covered already and then students having household income less than 15 lakhs so here there is an important thing to note so preference will be given to uh, students whose annual income is less than 2.5 lakhs even in the earlier stage there was one thing which they notified regarding specially able students and girls so here three kind of students will be very much preferred for them girls the specially able students and students who uh, whose annual income is less than 2.5 lakhs will have an edge over other students guys so these students who come under these categories must apply for this so in order to apply students first need to register for the scholarship once you register you'll receive an email with your login details so in the link which is provided here so if you click on this click here to apply you will definitely be able to submit your candidature for them this was it guys so when i came across this scholarship what uh, the first thought which came to my mind was so let me upload a dedicated video regarding it so that many of our community members will be benefited from it i'm very much looking forward to see you all in this scholarship program guys so i'm expecting at least uh to 2000 students to be from our community so let's make this guys complete your application as soon as possible and let me know in the comment section whether you have completed your application or not so i enjoyed a lot personally when i was uh, explaining you regarding this entire scholarship thing so if you did the same immediately click on the like button i'll be getting some motivation to upload uh, same kind of videos in the coming future and then if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions immediately put it on the comment section so that i'll be able to read it and i'll be able to think of what can be done regarding it but last but not the least if you haven't joined our telegram group yet immediately join it so i have given the link in the description it will benefit you a lot guys since there are 850 to 900 first year engineering students present over there from uh, every corner of karnataka you will be able to share opinions so there will be you will be able to participate in efficient discussions which are frequently going on in our group so if you haven't joined it immediately join it so you'll be able to see what benefits you get from it so share this video with as many friends as you can so that even they'll be able to uh, stand a chance to get this scholarship and then many other perks which are involved in this scholarship so thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye